All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's what our lines should look like. We should have two vertical, two horizontal. Our x is greater than negative 3 should be dashed. x is less than or equal to 7 should be solid. y is less than 6 dashed. y is greater than or equal to 0 solid. We have all of these different intersections. I should graph below y is less than 6 and above or y is greater than or equal to 0. So I'm graphing in between my horizontal. I graph to the left of x is less than or equal to 7, to the right of x is greater than 3, in between my vertical lines. That leaves this section in here as the only possible solution set. And as we see, this is what our final solution should look like. This is a hard one to graph if you're going to try to graph everything, because if I were, I'd have actually the entire thing colored in at some point. So I think it's oftentimes helpful to just look at and compare your two horizontal lines, compare your two vertical lines, and either just like lightly sketch in between these and then lightly sketch in between these and you can see the overlaps in the middle. Uh, you can also always check a point at this point here as well. You can check something like 2, 2 and see that 2 is my x-coordinate works. It works here. 2 is my y-coordinate works here and here. So 2, 2 is in the middle here. That's my solution set. And in our last problem, I want us to be able to look at this and see that 8, 4, which is over here, is not in my dark shaded area. So it's not a part of my solution set. But it never hurts to always check that algebraically. So in this case, that means I'm going to substitute 4 in for my y and 8 in for my x. I see it does work for my first inequality, but not for my second. It's not a solution to the system then, algebraically. And then graphically, okay, you can see it does work for this first one because that's this line and I'm talking about things greater. It is greater than that line or it is graphed above that line but not below the second one. Okay. Go ahead and check the second and third ordered pairs. So graphically, we can make our decisions just based on location. Negative 8 and negative 4 is a no. It's not in that dark shaded area. And 1, negative 1 is, so it's a yes. So what does that look like algebraically? So algebraically, we can see it's not a solution is a solution. So that's a no. Any no is a no. But for 1, negative 1, it is and it is. Two yeses makes it a yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have a worksheet to work on tonight as practice, and then we have review of all of our uh, linear systems of inequalities and just our linear inequalities on graphs. And then we will take a quiz the day after that. Good luck, and please, as always, let us know if you have questions.